What is up guys, Bob Gar here playing some Eldrazi and Taxes in Modern. Through playing it through a league. Right now we're 2-0. Oh. Got a little bit lucky in our matchups, I think. We hit Storm. Well, for matchup one I thought was hard. That was humans. And then matchup two, we ended up against Storm, and our taxing effects are pretty good against Storm, I think. So that one we two owed. But yeah, so far so good. Um, I'm always, I always get a little nervous playing through leagues, but I, I'm hoping we can at least go 3-2 and, and maybe even 4-1 or 5-0. I don't know. I will tell my opponent, hi, good luck. And I, I will go first. Um, this is a little high on mana light on action. I think I'm going to try it, but I'm a little skeptical. I think I go turn one shambling event into turn two concealed courtyard. And then I, I'm relying on my top decks a lot, although I do get to take a few things out of my opponent's hand. It's the nice part. Which hopefully will slow them down and get out their removal so they can't just kill my Tide Hollow Scully there. And Shambling Events are a real threat once they get going. Some kind of blue deck. Alright, well, let's see what he has. See what he's working with. And uh, I can do that next turn, too. So that was a super good draw off the top. Our deck is super... In on the hand disruption plan. And I see... I'm going to want this popped out once I look at this, although I don't really need it yet. Thought Knot's going to be good too then. So that is what I thought it probably was. It is the new As Foretold style deck. Um, I think I just grab As Foretold itself here. Maybe not. It, that's a couple of turns away, and I could always grab that with Thought Knot, which exiles it permanently. Maybe it's better. Oh, he can remand next turn is the problem. Yeah, I guess I've got to take As Foretold here. I guess that's only scary if he gets a removal at some point, but let's take As Foretold with this. And then next turn we can Thought Knot, and the turn after that we can Tide Hollow again. Um, and then post board we have some graveyard hate we can bring in which will help quite a bit too I think. All right, he plays down a fetid uh, fields of ruin which we have reasonable answers to, so it's not super scary for us. Unfortunately, playing Eldrazi Temple here does mean that um, the Concealed Courtyard. Oh yeah, that's right, he has Remand, so he can Remand that, that's fine. I can, maybe I should have gone for, well it didn't really matter, I only could. I only had one play this turn. I can probably remove the stop here. I usually don't have it, I just needed it for something. I usually, I never remove the upkeep and draw stops on my opponent's turn, which I think they find annoying, but I play a bunch of decks like this where you need them, and then it's like too like mind-bending to take them out. So hopefully he doesn't resolve a, uh, Copy of As Foretold here. If he does, I'm in a little trouble. He doesn't. He suspends Ancestral Vision, so that could get good eventually for him. And he knows what I'm doing here, I think. I guess I could have uh, not done the Temple last turn and done Concealed Courtyard instead or something, but... And if he has another one, he has another one. I still think this is the right play. And then I probably Concealed Courtyard this turn. Just doesn't really matter which. He does have another Remand, sure. Well... Definitely good. Next turn I might Tide Hollow instead, just because I can go Tide Hollow into um, Eldrazi Displacer. It depends what I draw to. If I draw another untap land, I could uh, Tide Hollow into like Thought Knot. But looks like he had a lot of remands. Okay, what do I get here? Thalia. Well, I'm going to start off with Tide Hollow here. And then I can either Thalia or Eldrazi Displacer, depending on what I see. He lets it go. What does he have now? He counters its ability. I guess that's fine. I don't know why he didn't just counter it instead of just countering its ability. Or maybe he's worried about me doing it in the future. Um, I'm going to Thalia here. Takes him off of the top deck. Um, 
as for told plan because if he top decked as for told he wouldn't be able to play it with that much mana it still has one more turn right no it has three more turns oh yeah he's got a while on it um that'll also slow him down because he has to pay Thalia's tax when he, when he tries to cast that from exile oh why didn't i play a land last turn well that might if that costs me the game i'll feel really bad um that's fine all right, I will get a planes, I guess. I mean, that does suck, but it's not the end of the world. The big problem with that is I now don't have a way to play Thought Not Seer, but I can still, my play next turn is probably Flicker Wisp, the Tide Hollow he turned off, because that'll just trigger it again. We got a Ghost Quarter, so now I can play Thought Not if I want, which is probably just better than flicker with tide hollow i can always flicker with tide hollow in the future okay let's thought not let's see what he's working with he's got two living ends and a cryptic i guess i take cryptic even though it doesn't feel good either it's just because if he has two living ends uh, i guess i could have tried to steal both living ends but it seems a little hard but yeah, he loses this turn if he doesn't top deck it, it feels like, because he's at two time counters on this still. So I think he needs the blind top deck on uh, an As For Told. In which case, I guess it really didn't matter what I got. Well, he's got an extra draw towards it. I got it. Sweet. Well, even with a few misplays there, we still did pretty well. Uh, Graveyard Hate obviously comes in. Well, I mean, Wasteland Strangler probably comes out just because he doesn't have a lot of wiener creatures for me to deal with. Uh, Relics definitely come in. Is there anything else I want to change for in the against Mono Blue? I could bring in... Not really. I think that's fine. I'm just going to run it like that. Um... Well, I guess I'm going to keep it again off the strength of turn 2 Sculler. I really need to find a colorless source for Thought Knot. Uh, and I also need some more action here somewhere. It's definitely not the best hand, but I don't think it's the worst either. He could just have V-Man for turn 2 Sculler and then have his combo piece though, so might not work out. Another Thought Knot. Well, that was one of the worst. Usually that's one of my best possible draws, but given that I don't have the colorless, that's one of my worst possible draws. Well, he has a Search for Ascanta. Well, that means I'm not getting remanded here, which is kind of nice. Well, that's not a bad one either. White, black, Tide Hollow... Supreme Will, Dismember, Dismember, Living End. So that doesn't really matter what I take because he will dismember it. Could take Supreme Will. Can I take a spell and just throw place? Three. I guess I'll take Living End. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming he just dismembers it next turn, which doesn't feel good, but it's not that big a deal. Then hopefully I just get Eldrazi Temple and then I can go to town. If I don't, I'm a little not in such good shape. Sorcerer Scanter does seem really good in this deck just because it helps you dump creatures in your graveyard without having to cycle them. Not that you wouldn't often want to cycle them. He has a, one of those, sure. Pass this turn, I get... Well, that's not a bad one either. I might actually put this out instead of Flicker Wisp. I don't think I have a good Flicker Wisp target here. Okay, attack him. Get get the beats going. And that gives me a good Flicker Wisp target next turn, assuming he doesn't want to... Uh... So he played this. He has Supreme Will and two Dismembers that I know about. Doesn't dismember anything. Has Kanta flip. Or as Kanta can flip. 
Found a good one to flip on top. That's pretty good. Definitely going on a clock here. He's getting close to finding... The more he does this, the scarier it is towards finding his uh, answers, obviously. This is three time counters, so... Not that worried about this, because he's going to have to... Cycles, short. Cycles. I think I attack all, and then... Ooh. Exiles, presumably, my graveyard. Yeah, I didn't have anything in it anyway, but it makes sense to do. Well, his graveyard's looking pretty good, and I haven't drawn my graveyard here yet. That'd be another really good draw, actually. Unfortunately, that one's not super good. I'll play down Shambling Event, because there's nothing else for me to do. I've drawn every single one of my basics, which is actually kind of crazy. Let's attack in. See what he wants to do. See if he dismembers here or not. If he doesn't dismember, I will Flicker Wisp on Blade Splicer, which might very well force him to dismember Blade Splicer. Okay, he dismembers my token. That seems fine. That one I wouldn't have been able to save anyway, so he only takes three here. Takes him down to seven, and then let's uh, flicker wisp on blade splicer. Comes back in, get another counter. So he, I have way more than enough damage to kill him next turn. It's just a matter of if he finds this combo this turn, I think. I think the Ancestral Visions is going to be too slow. But if he has the As Foretold, I think he can combo off this turn. Puts the Living End into his graveyard. That was not it. Then he gets to decide whether he wants to flip, I think. Which you could do. I don't think it's super valuable. I mean, I think he might as well flip, but I don't think searching with it helps him very much because it takes too much of his mana up. Well, this is the moment of truth. Basically, we have him Dobbs if he doesn't have an answer here. Dobbs stands for dead on board. We just have one, three, three, two, and he has a dismember and a supreme will, neither of which do all that much to us. The dismember can kill something, but it does four damage to him, taking him to three, making like almost anything we have lethal. So he really needs to resolve a... As foretold this turn, otherwise I think he's just dead. I actually don't know what else he could have. Okay, he passes. What do I draw? Aether Vial. I mean... I guess I'll activate Shambling Vent, and then attack all. Hard for me to think of what he could have. Oh, I guess he could have, uh, maybe he got Cryptic. Yeah, he must have Cryptic here. That's the only thing I can think that would make any sense. Nope, he doesn't. All right, we got there. Sweet. Uh, so we've been doing really well. Uh, this is the third match we played, and we've won three, which means we at least made our money back, which is, in my opinion, awesome. I, I usually have very low expectations going into these... Uh, these cues, but I'm excited to have gotten a win. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Hey guys, Bobgar here. I just really wanted to quickly say, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you enjoy my content in general and would like to see more of it, subscribe. I'll be coming out with more content in the future. And please leave me comments and let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, both in terms of production and in terms of my play and my deck building and all that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time.